there's a, there's a few things here about dealing with poor performance. So, well, one of them said I've kind of arrived to take over a department. There were two notorious poor performers. Everybody knew. I, everybody told me. Everybody knew. Um, how do you deal with that? You know, you've just landed. You don't know anybody. Um, how do you, you know? I mean, and, I'm, and this is kind of reasonably high up in a in an organisation. How do you deal with that situation? Well, first of all, what, you, what, what I said right at the beginning, my talk, don't move it on, okay? Yeah. Um, uh, you, you, I think it's a great learning opportunity um, uh, for yourself, because this is probably one of the hardest things that, that you've got to do. Mm. Um, uh, it's particularly if that poor performer is, is, a, is a peer or a boss. So I think, one, again, one of the things, Howard, that, that I always do is um, um, having clarity around what expectations are is really, really important. Yeah. Um, uh, so that, you know, this poor, it's, it's very simple. The poor performer will talk about everything other than the task that needs to be done. Yeah. So being pinpointed on, it's very simple, okay, I just want you to do this. Um, uh, and you know, the next time that you, and, and I'll come back and we're going to talk again. I want to help you. I want to whatever it is. And I'm going to come and talk to you at the end of the week or whatever it is. You'll come back. They haven't done this. They'll have done all of these other things. Coming back to being on point around that issue is there. And then what I, what I found is if you can bring that clarity to, to this is what needs to be done. And there's the recognition that they, once they recognize they can't get out of, they have to do that, but they actually don't have the wherewithal or the capability to do it. Okay, a lot of poor performers will actually deselect themselves. Will all, will, will, will act, you don't actually have to go forward yeah. and give them, you know, write down a formal performance improvement plan and all this sort of stuff, so that you're basically managing them out of the business, so that in a way that, you know, that you don't get sued. In my experience, a lot of them will say, "Look, I think there's an opportunity over here. There's an I would like to go over here. I'd like to go wherever, yeah. and maybe they can add value somewhere else in the organisation." 